going to be... Oh, there we go. Even it out. There we go. Nice and even, except oh, I skipped uh, it. Yeah. Oh. Will we ever have an even planting? Probably not. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Cat and Kitty Gaming. I'm Kelsey. And I'm Matt. And we are back here today for another episode of Stardew Valley, picking up on the 18th day of spring. On Kitty Farm, yeah. On Kitty Farm, the I best farm ever. Ever. As is our custom on Kitty Farm, we must begin the episode by harvesting the green beans. Beans! Oh, my inventory is full. Hang on. You should probably let me do this. Oh. Uh, because I don't have a watering can right now. None of us have the, uh, and by none of us, I mean neither of us, have the upgraded watering can, right? We're still on the first level. No, remember my watering can is with Clint. It is getting oh, upgraded. Oh, that's exactly that, why I am that, the only one that can water. Got that, it. That is why I don't have a watering can. Forgot about that. <laughs> Okay, so we unlocked the community center. We did. Finally, I don't have to be anxious anymore. Okay, so we'll want to complete the spring foraging bundle, so we'll want to save one of all those things. I'm going to go off and start by foraging. Okay. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. Oh, uh, it's the metal on fire. Seriously, guys, this had better be important. I love that video. It never gets old. It really doesn't. It's like so old at this point, and I still love it. Charlie the Unicorn inspired a whole generation of internet goers. It's so Seriously. influential on our age group. If you're younger and you're watching this, you might not have ever even seen Charlie the Unicorn, potentially. Look it up if you haven't. It's a good time. By the way, holy cow, are there berries down they're, here. They're everywhere. They're freaking everywhere, they're, man. Like, I already have 16, and I just, I'm barely even away from the farm. <laughs> barely <laughs> even away from the farm? <laughs> I'm barely <laughs> away from the farm. I'm Wink. so funny. I have 28 berries. Holy cow. Holy All right. poop. That's a lot of berries. I don't know where I'm I going. I found a horse redder. I think oh, no. I already it's a leak. Oh, I already deposited what did I deposit? I gave him oh, I gave them a horseradish and something else. And a dandelion. Okay, oh, so okay, the leak can leak. go in. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I just completed the spring foraging bundle. Oh, did you? Oh, look at that. It gives me a little notification. So what do we get? Wunderbar. Ooh, a present. What did we, what did we get? Usually we it's pretty good. We got 30 spring seeds, an assortment of wild spring seeds. Oh, let's plant like all of them. I'm coming back. We're doing it right now. All right. I'll start tilling the earth. The pantry. Spring crops bundle. Oh, perfect. Okay, what does it okay, require? I'm putting a bean in there because I already have okay, one. Okay, so it needs beans. So we, we got that. A parsnip, a potato, and a cauliflower. Oh, I have a cauliflower too. Okay. Oh, so I think I we might that. have a parsnip and a potato. No, wait. What, what else do we need? We need, uh, green we need a bean? parsnip and a potato. I already put the green bean and the cauliflower in. Okay. And okay, potato. We, oh, we have one of each of those. Perfect. We okay. can run those do by later. Do you want to run it down here? Perfect. Uh, not right this second. Let me. Okay. I'll, I'll come by later with I those. actually have something for the fish tank too. What am I... What am I doing? Uh, oh, we already derp. <laughs> what are you I'm doing? so used to this big open square here that I forgot that we've already tilled all of this. Okay. So then we don't have to worry about spring for the community center. We have done all the spring stuff. That's great. Woohoo! Oh wait. Oh, Kelsey, I leveled up in farming. Oh, good. Water I leveled can... up in something too, but I was so busy looking at the cat, I forgot to read it. <laughs> too distracted by cats. That's Kelsey for you. Um. Okay, we made oh we made a decent amount of money today. Oh, I'm getting a cutscene. What's oh, happening? Oh, me too. Oh, is this when the Jojo guy comes in? Who is that? Oh, I can't tell. He's like wearing Jojo a cape. Guy. He looks like oh, it is him. Oh, Morris! Look at that bow tie. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for fifty percent off your purchase at Jojo Mart. <laughs> no, you're evil, Morris. Get behind me, Satan. <laughs> Poor Pierre. Fifty percent. We had any takers. Oh, you heartless oh, beings just taking the coupons. On. Poor Pam. Pierre. Oh, I no, that wasn't Pam. I'm not sure who that was. Uh, jo Jody, I Jody. think. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, Pierre. I support local businesses. All right. I got my watering can back. I got a copper watering can. Oh, good. So now you can do, I think it's three plots. Uh, yes, I believe it is. Can we do crab pots yet? Those are useful. Um, I think you have to level up in fishing at least one time. Oh, yeah, we? so I was going to try to do some fishing today. Yeah, maybe you can start with crab pots and stuff. Okay, I'm going to go to the mine. I'm going to try to find us some supplies, because apparently Clint wants a bunch of copper. I should have never <laughs> agreed to that, but I accidentally clicked accept quest, so what can you do? I mean, you can't ignore him. It's like anything else in life. You can ignore it. Well, I think it'll make him sad. 
and I want Clint to be my friend because sometimes if people like you, they will like send you stuff. That's true. They do. Like recipes and sometimes just items. And I think someone just sent me like money one time if I remember right. Love me, Clint. Why do you want Clint to love you? I'm supposed to love you. Because I want Clint. him to send me stuff. Oh, I see you're giving him things. All right. All right. Fair enough. All right. Making our way down in the mine. Making our way downtown. Fucking oh, fast. Oh, boy. He's as fast and I'm homebound. And I no, I don't even know the words. And I need you. And I miss you. And now I wonder. Are you in the mines of Moria? I hope not. Because if I delve too greedily and too deep, I will awake something terrible in the darkness. Drums in the deep. Drums in the deep. You know what they awoke down there. Fool of a took for yourself for next time and rid us of your stupidity. There you go, Ian McKellen. <laughs> He's not super easy to do. This slime is taking forever to kill. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, it is killing me. No, no, no. Don't Did die. I? I think I died. No. Oh. Did you lose stuff? I don't know. That slime, it was like super difficult. I don't understand. Oh, I forgot about the last le 10 levels of the mine. Are you serious? That's all the levels I knew. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Every time I run off to the mine, I can't help but think of the dwarves from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. They all ha haul all their pickaxes. You remember that? How like they, they would like come back with just like <laughs> mine carts loaded full of gems. Yep. I'm like, how are these guys not ridiculously rich? Like, where do they mine? Sign I know, me seriously. up for that. I don't know. I, one of my coworkers and I actually do that. We'll go, hi ho, hi ho, it's Stop off to work, work we go. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh, we both have like no energy. Do you oh, have energy? No. Okay, well, you know what it's time for, Kelsey. Mom's cookies. Ooh. I guess well, there's only enough cookies for me to eat them, but still. All right. Because I'm going to have an unproductive day. <laughs> All right. You're going you're gonna to have to eat some stuff. All right, so I'm going to eat mom's cookies. Om nom 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 nom. That only restored like a third of my energy bar. That's not fair. There might be field snacks or you can make field snacks. Oh, there's two field snacks. Okay, I'll take one. You can have the other. Let's get a good healthy breakfast. It's always the key for recovery. Mm, fields. Yeah, you love yourself some fields. Because <laughs> that's what field snacks are made of. Fresh fields, of course. What else would they be made of? Fresh fields. That sounds like a Yankee candle scent. Fresh Probably fields. is. Oh, well, kind of does, actually. Fresh fields. <sighs> oh, you did leave the other fields snack for me. I Thank did. I said you. I would. I said I would, and I did. Look at these petals going through the air. They're so pretty. I know. It's like a, uh, it's like a cherry blossom festival or something. Yeah, it does actually happen in the spring. That's one of my favorite things about spring when the trees are flowering. I know. Isn't it so pretty? It almost looks like snow because there's little petals. Oh, so pretty. That would be one of my favorite things about going to Japan is just seeing all the cherry blossoms in the spring. Uh. That would be so pretty. Yes, Matt and I really would love to go to Japan someday. Cool. Plus, we love Asian food. We love sushi. I would be Plus, so happy. Myself having watched as much anime as I have, I feel like I actually know enough about Japanese culture not to like fit in or anything, but at least that I wouldn't look like a completely ignorant American walking around. At least we wouldn't I hope. do something really, really dumb. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, I wouldn't do anything particularly stupid or insensitive. So. What about, what's going on with the chicken coop? We're yeah, working our well, way towards the chicken coop, right? We are working our way toward a chicken coop, but we don't have enough money for it right now. I think it takes four grand. So we'll probably have to wait till the end of today, but we'll have enough money. Okay, so maybe I should just forage some more, try to get some Yeah, and forage stuff. and fish maybe. I'm going to go, I don't know if we have enough wood for a chicken coop. We'll have enough stone, um, but I'm going to need to go and get some wood. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to go and give these uh, copper ores to Clint. And then we should have enough copper left over that we can make um, some bars and possibly upgrade another one of our tools. I've only greeted 13 people. Oh, I gotta get cracking. There's always like one or two people you miss for like ages. I don't think I, in any of my plays, I've ever met every single person. I did, I think one time. The problem is it doesn't tell you who you've missed. You're just kind of like guessing, like, wait, you who did just I forget run to around be like, hello, 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 <laughs> hey, hello. hello. Hi, you, hi, I'm so-and-so. Nice to meet you, goodbye. <laughs> Back uh, in the day, you know, maybe like 20, 30 years ago, when uh, if you moved into a neighborhood, people might show up with cookies and be like, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to the neighborhood. Now people like leave you alone. They're like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. I don't want my children to go play yeah. in your yard. Like, It is kind of interesting how 
neighbors and neighborhoods used to be this like, you know, they became your friends. And nowadays I feel like you pretty much never talk to your neighbors. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like you do anymore. You might get their number and occasionally text them like... I don't know, if you're on vacation, <laughs> if you need to know something. Like, is our back porch light on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the funny thing is, Kelsey and I, we even live, you know, in town. We don't yep. live, like, you know, out in the middle of nowhere or anything. And uh, we still don't know our neighbors. We pretty much just kind of wave at them. Yeah. I'm not ignore. proud. I'm not proud of that. I'll be honest. I'm not proud that that's the way it is. But, yeah, we uh, meant to kind of get to know them. Maybe we still will. Maybe at Christmas I'll take them cookies or something. Anything can happen. I'm going to try to get deeper. Hopefully I won't be too greedy as I dig deep. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you don't run into any Balrogs. If there was a Balrog secretly hidden in this game, I wouldn't even care if it killed me. I'd just be oh so gosh. happy. That would be <laughs> the best thing ever. If you make it to some like super low level in the mine and suddenly should... you're like, ah! <laughs> It should be an achievement. You dug too greedily and too deep and just oh show like Gandalf's face. <laughs> that would be so amazing. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm not going to make it oh home. Oh my gosh, oh, no. Oh. Wait, are you not home? I'm home. Oh, in bed, in bed. No. Oh, no. Oh. I mean, we're in our house. I don't think that counts. Wait, does it count? Well, I leveled up in mining, which means I unlocked a staircase. Okay. We probably will just have less energy or something the next probably, day. Probably. I don't know. I was in my house, so that's got to be less terrible. Okay, a thousand. That's not so bad. Oh, we still don't have enough for a chicken coop. Wait, where are you? Did you wake up in your own oh, house? I wake up in my bed. Mm -hmm. Did I? I don't think we lost any money. Okay, I think because we made it into the house, we're okay. All right, everybody. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, the chicken coop continues to elude us because we're just a touch short. So we're going to try to do that next episode. Uh, we want to thank you so much for watching, and we, of course, would love to hear your feedback. Would you please just leave us a comment or a like uh, to let us know what you think? Uh, and uh, if you like this kind of content, just consider hitting that subscribe button for more videos just like this. So, hey, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next episode. See ya.